Hello, this is Deborah Cohen, Bodybuilding Boomers. And today we'll do a workout on the mat, on the floor. So if you're able to get on the floor, if you have yoga strap and some blocks, you might need them, something to put your head on if you would rather lie on your back with neck support. But before we do any strength and stretching, especially stretching, you always want to make sure the muscles are warmed up before you start any stretching, which we'll do for the legs today in the back. So I figured I would start the cardio segment briefly by just moving around with one of my songs called Lift It Up. How many can relate to that? Lift it up, right? Lift up your chest to the heavens. Lift up your torso, but not your shoulders. And if you can't march around or dance, just do any kind of movement to lubricate those joints. And don't forget to hydrate well. And of course, you have your doctor's permission, right? Okay. So this is my song, and I won't really say anything. We'll just be moving around while the song is playing, okay? All right, let's begin. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that song. It's called Lift It Up. And let me have a drink for all that cardio. Whew. And again, I'm Deborah Cohen. And if you're wondering how I can be a teacher when I'm hopping and puffing, this is me post-COVID. After getting COVID, it took away my breath and my balance. So I'm starting over again. And maybe you are too. So if you're not, then have some compassion for those that are trying. As one of my teachers used to say, I'll give you an E for effort. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So let's open and close our fingers. And uh, I'm trying to catch my breath. You know, uh, when I used to teach silver sneakers, um, classic <sighs> for se senior citizens, keep moving your legs while I'm talking. Um, <clears throat> they used a scale of one to 10 for cardio work. 
So like the scale of one means no sweat, hardly working, standing still maybe. And 10 is I think I'm going to like pass out. Or maybe you already did because you weren't paying attention to the numbers. When you get to about five on that scale of one to 10, where one is easy peasy and 10 is OMG, five is where you start to notice things like you're laboring to breathe, but you can still carry on a conversation while you're working out. Five is okay. Six is like, okay, I can still do this, but it's hard for me to talk. Okay, that's probably your limit for the day. And when you get into the higher, closer to 10, and you cannot have a conversation while you're working out, which of course you would not want to talk while you're working out, but we're just using this as a measure of how much to exert yourself. If you can't have a conversation <clears throat> while you're working out, you need to, to back off a little bit, okay? You, you're pushing yourself too hard. Maybe you're having a good day. Some of us have good days in recovery where we feel like we can shoot for the moon. But if you can't talk through the exercise you're doing, you're pushing too hard. So keep that in your brain whenever you do any workouts. Okay, so we're going to do some mat work, meaning to get on the floor. That cardio was just so that we could stretch without tearing or micro tearing a muscle, all right? So gracefully get on the mat. Now you can start by getting into table pose. These are suggestions where you reach for the mat and you get on all fours. In yoga, we call that table pose. So that's one way to be graceful about getting on the mat. <laughs> Another way is I learned this in, um, at John Hopkins Hospital when I was uh, taking classes to teach yoga to people with arthritis. They recommend, so again, get on the mat while I'm talking. They recommend for arthritics that can't, or people that can't get on the floor anymore to get a chair, sit in the chair at your mat and do like blankets or pillows the one pillow closest to the seat. So when you move your booty off the chair, you plunk on pillow number one, and then another ledge or whatever you need that's comfortable to plunk down another step to the mat. And of course, how would you get up once you get on the mat? Well, you get on your hands and knees as best you can, and you put your forearms on the seat of the chair and hold on to that chair and get yourself up using the strength of your legs, which is why I keep saying we, especially older adults, need to keep working these legs because we need them, especially as we get older. Who wants to have to call somebody for help because we can't get off the floor? Not me. Okay. All right. So on our backs we go. And... Uh, Get yourself comfortable and keep your knees bent with your feet on the mat at first to practice the imprint. And if you've been following me, you know what imprint is. If you don't know what it is, it means you're doing the pelvic tilt on the mat, pressing your lower back into the mat so you can't get your hands behind there. You cannot. If you're not doing the imprint, then you're, you can easily slide your hands under your back on the mat. And you do not want to be in that posture. You want to be doing an imprint, meaning you're imprinting your back into the mat. Okay, so we're practicing imprint and our breathing. You can put your hands over your navel, take a breath in, feel your navel rise for count of four, then a millisecond, and then exhale through the back of the throat twice as long. And let your body surrender onto the mat. 
and repeat at your own pace because we all have different lung capacity. <sighs> okay, now once you have this imprint in your mind, I'm going to take my glasses off. We're going to do a Pilates intro work. I'll read it to you first. Well, I got to have my glasses on for that, don't I? I'm studying to be a Pilates teacher. I'm already certified, but I really want to get the instructions in my head. So I practice here. Okay, these are part of a Pilates warm up. You're going to do an ab prep, five to 10 reps. Your head, neck, and chest lift up as one piece with your arms parallel to the floor. If this is hard on your neck, then you can modify and put your hands, clasped hands behind your neck, but do not pull your neck. Just, you gotta think about your chest, neck, and head lifting as one piece, okay? So let's see, we're going to do that. Keep our head in chin nod meaning you have you could put an apple under your chin when you're lifting up you're you're not going to let your chin touch your chest and we'll exhale on exertion so let's do let's do five okay so ready breath in one return breath in exhale two return breath in Exhale, three, return, breath in, four, we're tightening those abs, last one, breath in, five, very good. Now we're going to do the 100, which is also a Pilates move, and if you can't do 100 of these, that's okay, do what you can, again, imprinted pelvis, which is why I made, a, made an emphasis on the imprinted pelvis. You're going to, again, just like we did in the lift up of the one piece upper body, make sure you have the head nod. You're gonna pulse your arms five, for staccato breaths, five inhales, and then exhale five staccato breaths, okay? for a hundred. You're not coming down this time back. So once you lift up, if you wanna keep your legs up, you can do that. You can keep your legs diagonal if you're advanced, or you can keep your legs with bent knees, feet on the floor like I'm gonna do, okay? Your hands are parallel and you're doing staccato. So let's practice the breathing without lifting the body first. Breath in. Exhale, breath in, like you're sucking on a straw. Exhale, and we're gonna keep the upper body lifted like this for 100, okay? Go at your own pace. Bring it in, bring in your bent knees, clasp your hands over your knees and just rock back and forth. Ah, and congratulate yourself for doing that. Ah, that's something actually that we could do every day. If you're ambitious, I tried to do it every day and I was really diligent when I first started in the Pilates class, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, then life set in, I guess. And I just don't like to do the same exercises every day, which is why I do different things each day. I like variety. Okay, so while our knees are up, let's do bicycle. We wanna really reach 
do your imprint. Don't forget your imprint. Ah, oh, yes. Reach those legs. Stretch them out. Don't forget your belly breathing. And reverse. And bent knees, feet back on the floor. Very good. And let's do a yoga bridge pose. So you gotta, if you have something elevated, you wanna have your neck down level with the floor. You take the, okay. Arms hugging your sides on the floor, palms down. Okay. Make sure you're doing the imprint. Breath in, lift in bridge pose for five cleansing breaths. Try to have the same pressure in both feet in the same locations. And you're elevating on your shoulders. Three, four, and last breath. Five. And lower starting from the upper back. Your vertebrae, picture your spine as a string of pearls and you're lowering your vertebrae to touch the mat one pearl at a time until you get back to beginning position. And take a nice cleansing breath in and let's repeat. And this time when we do bridge, let's, let's lift our hands over our head if we can do that with your arms on the floor over your head. Ready? Breath in. Lift up and bridge and bring your arms up on the, on the floor behind you so your palms are resting on the floor for five cleansing breaths. One more breath. Ah, this feels good to me. I hope it does to you too. And lower your string of pearls and bring your arms back at your sides very gracefully. And let's bring our bent right knee to our chest with clasped hand. And just feel the strength. Point flex that right foot. And circle the ankle in one direction slowly while you practice your belly breathing and then the opposite direction. And straighten your left leg and lift it up and lower it, but don't touch the floor for eight, seven, six, five, four. And if this is too hard for you, you can keep that bent knee on the floor. We just do what we can. Keep those shoulders on the mat. One more. They lost count. And keep both knees bent again, feet on the floor, and switch to the other leg. Clasp the left knee if you're able. If not, you can just keep it on the mat. But you won't be able to do the point flex toes, will you? Oh. That's where a strap comes in. These are so handy. Make sure you get a long one that's like 10 feet long. You can lasso your foot and point, try to point and flex this way. Point and flex. And then circle your ankle. Do it with, these are little helps for us until we get strong enough to do them without the props other direction so use them whenever you need to don't be down on yourself because you can't do what somebody else is doing just be glad that you can actually do anything right okay so we can either keep this leg flexed with the with the uh, strap it'll help you to keep this knee bent and lift and lower, but don't touch the ground. 
seven, six, five, keep that imprint, four, three, Oh, this hamstring is really oh, one last one. Bent knees, let go of the strap if you're using it. And then keep your shoulders on the mat, but just do, they call it windshield wipers. Keep your legs glued together at the thighs and just do the window wiper washer, but keep your shoulders on the mat. Oh, try to keep your imprint. This barrette is pulling my hair. Oi, oi. If only I had a lot of hair. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be picking on myself. I wasn't really picking on myself. I was just saying, if only. Okay. All right. Now let's try something like if you're able to put your soles of your feet together and just open up. Let your legs hang open, but please keep the imprint on your lower back. Just kind of opening up the legs. If that's too much, you can bring your legs closer to the edge of the mat. Just adjust it how you need it. And if it doesn't feel good at all, then you can just stretch your legs out. We're stretching our legs. Let's do the hip hiker. We've done this one before. If you put your hands on your hips, you can see the movement. You're pushing one hip down, so it lengthens the right leg, the hip that you're pushing down, and then alternate. But again, keep your imprint, loosening up those hips. Oh, yes, that feels good. Okay, let's do figure four. And I, if I don't explain these very well, it's because I've already done that explaining in a previous video. So if you're not sure what we're doing, you're just crossing one leg over the other, but try to keep it off of the knee, put it above the knee. Practice your belly breathing. Open up that hip joint. Make sure both butt cheeks are same pressure on the mat. And we're just enjoying the freedom to move. And I, I'm on my floor, in my Florida sunroom, so I have the additional perk of the breeze, the Florida breeze. All right, let's switch legs carefully with those knee knees. Ah, oh, feels so good to be out here just chilling with you. It feels great. And if you don't have a strap, you can use a, a long, you know, like a bath towel. That works just as well. But this strap, you know, it's very nice. It's cloth. I don't know what you'd call it, a sailor cloth, but it's a yoga strap. And uh, you can lasso, I call it lasso, make your exercising fun. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job, am I? Okay. And one strap in each hand, and then just alternate pulling with that on the middle of your soul. Oh, it feels so good. So massaging your foot feels great. Oh, yes especially for those that have extra weight, like me, my feet do a lot of work for me. So you gotta be kind to your feet. Oh yes, that feels so good. All right, while we have the strap there, let's take both straps in our right hand if you have the right leg lifted. If you have your left leg, then take the strap in your left hand, okay? And lower that leg, straight leg, stretching that leg feel your heel pulling away from your body both butt cheeks are on the mat you can hold your left arm on the floor wherever it feels comfortable but we're trying to stretch the ligaments around the knee feel it with a flex foot in the strap it feels good 
to feel that stretch. And it's good to do that now because we had opened up with cardio to warm up the joints and muscles. Oh, that feels good. And, you know, they say it takes about 60 seconds for the body to uh, really surrender to the stretch. So we don't hurry and force stretching ever. Never force your body into a position that's not ready for it. Now take the, both straps in the opposite hand and swing gently to the other side. And this time your other bent knee there will roll onto the floor to try to, I'm trying to stretch my hamstring. If you want a really good stretch on the hamstring, you can pull this straight leg up toward in the direction of your head. But again, don't force it. I really need to just hang out here for 60 seconds. Keep both shoulders on the mat. <sighs> Give your body time to stretch. One more breath and return back on the mat and put your other foot in the strap and then pull out your other leg, keep it bent and massage those tooties, your little tooties, uh, tooties, okay, tooties. I don't know where I got that word, twitties. I heard it when I was a little girl. This little piggy went to the market. You know, oh, you know how that is. Okay, we're massaging the bottom of that other foot. Oh, it feels great. I imagine it would feel good with a towel, too. And take both straps in your left hand and open that leg and reach that heel away from the body. Keep both butt cheeks on the mat for five cleansing breaths. See, this one's not as tight on me. That makes sense because it's the right hamstring that's pulling on me for some reason. Probably because my right knee is messed up, huh? So make adjustments for whatever your body is doing and if you want more of a stretch on the hamstring, you can pull your flex foot to up in the direction of your head, but don't force it. Stop when you start to feel a sensation. I feel it in the inner thigh and part of the hamstring. One more breath and switch straps to the other side. And this time your bent leg will lay on the floor, bent, and keep your shoulders, both shoulders on the mat. If you want more of a hamstring stretch, pull those toes up in the direction of the head. Stop when you feel a sensation. If you want to stretch on the neck, you can turn your neck and look in the opposite direction of your straight leg. What a strap. And I get to look at the beautiful sky, blue, blue sky, blue sky, nothing but blue sky. Didn't Willie Nelson sing that? Blue sky. May his memory be for a blessing. I think I heard he passed away a couple days ago. Willie Nelson. He was a amazing artist he also has gummies for pain you know cbd gummies i don't know if they'll still be selling them now that he's not around but fyi you have to be careful when you're buying that stuff you know that's my husband wanted to try them because willie is has a reputable reputation okay let's get back to the center and take your foot out of the strap Put the strap on the floor and let's see, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? I mean, I'm doing this for myself, especially so that I can work back up into an hour 
and try to get a job at a brick and mortar yoga place. I haven't had the stamina. Let's sit up. I haven't had on the mat the stamina. And when you're sitting up, you roll to the side. It's better for your body. And with your top arm pushing into the floor, push up and come to a seated position. Anyway, I'm working and open your legs and just feel a good stretch on your inner thighs with flex feet. After I get COVID or during COVID, I lost my jobs because I was teaching seniors and those were the first places to close. So then I got COVID in 2023. So uh, I lost all of my strength. And this is why I'm doing this online so I need to build back into an hour class. So I have the stamina to go to a yoga brick and mortar place and get a job teaching, you know, because I still need to get paid. And uh, musicians like me, I'm an indie artist, as you know, if you joined me in the beginning of this video, you heard the song Lift It Up. I rely on people listening and sharing and reposting and commenting and reviewing because that's how I, as a musician, get paid for my royalties so I can pay my bills. <laughs> so if you do like that song, that would be a great help for me to share it and add it to your playlist. Lift it up. Okay, legs together, straight legs on the floor. And lift up your torso first. Flex your feet and reach for your toes. Hinge from the hips. If you can't reach your toes, reach for your shins and stay there. No bouncing. But every time you exhale, see if you can reach a little bit more. <sighs> Keep your booty on the mat. <sighs> nice stretch for the legs here. <sighs> and... Let's do a little twist. I think this is also a Pilates movement. I'm gonna get more in the center of the mat so you can see me. Uh, spinal twist, arms out parallel, extended parallel with the floor. Lift the torso first. Remember what I said in previous videos, don't twist until you lift the torso, but not your shoulders. And then do three staccato breaths while you twist. And your head is an extension of your spine. So do not twist your head separate from your spine. Ready? Breath in. One. All right. Breath in. Other direction. Again, let's do it two more times each side. Breath in. See if we can twist a little bit more each time. Breath in. Last time, one on both sides. Breath in. And last time on the other side. Ah, oh, that felt good. Okay, roll the shoulders, roll those shoulders. And bring the soles of your feet together on the mat, seated. Hold on to the fronts of your ankles or wherever it feels good. Doing the butterfly. Nice straight back. Do not lean forward. Try to keep your body up straight. And I hope that by now you have added my song, Butterfly, to your playlist. It's my latest release. And you can cross your legs, ankles, or whatever you want to do for Lotus Pose. And let's do our piece as we close for three exhalations. Breath in. Peace. Again, breath in. Peace. Last time, breath in. Peace. Ah. I hope you feel a little bit better than you did when you started. A little looser, a little more energized, inspired. Whatever the word is, choose a positive word in your mind. And, you know, all of us, we struggle with negative thoughts. And uh, so the whole thing is when you're doing your mind work, acknowledge maybe that that thought was there the first 
thing in, in psychology 101 that I went to is to identify what voice that is. Like if you hear something negative, ask yourself, who used to say that to me? Or where did I hear that? And unfortunately, the way we're made, after you realize that, maybe you'll never realize it. Maybe uh, the Yetzirah uh, said it, the, the, the evil intention, um, which we all have, uh, you know, no, nobody's perfect. So you have to replace that evil thought with one expression said out loud 10 times because it takes 10 repetitions of a positive expression to cancel out in your mind one negative thought. So you see the importance of only thinking on those things that are lovely, noble, and of good report. Okay, so find something positive to think about today and focus on that or do a meditation with one of the Bible Psalms. Simple, like if you're complaining about your bills, which, you know, I can relate. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Okay. Okay. All right. You might not even believe it when you say it out loud. But keep saying it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. God is my provider. Find the word in Hebrew. Like, let's see. What is that Hebrew word for provider? Uh, I think the, it's not a J word. Jehovah Jireh. Uh, but I think that's uh, your, um, Adana Yireh. Or uh, uh, Hashem Yireh. Okay. Okay. All right. Enough that. We're not talking about Bible. All right. Now I'm going to get up doing the uh, downward dog. This is how I get up. But remember what I said. If you have a hard time getting up, you can get up and put your forearms on a chair. You got to have strength to do this. And I'll, I'm working on it. But if you put your hands, if you're on all fours and curl your toes under and make sure your palms are directly under your shoulders, take a nice breath in. Exhale and push up on your hands and use your legs and then walk your toes and your hands to the center and then hands on your shins. Bend those knees and one vertebrae at a time, just like you did. Think of a string of pearls and you're straightening them up and voila. Hey, we're getting better every day. Thank you for watching. And if you're watching me on Burn Along, please give me a good review. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. Lift it up, I'm going to work my body. Lift it up, I'm going to work my body.